Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on chylitis granulomatosa. For introduction, granulomatous chylitis refers to an uncommon condition in which there is lumpy swelling of the lips. It is also known as chylitis granulomatosa or Mescher chylitis. It is part of the spectrum of orofacial granulomatosis including mescher melkerson rosenthal syndrome, which is a triad of granulomatous chylitis, facial palsy, and fissuring of the tongue. It can be idiopathic where we don't know the cause, or associated with conditions like Crohn's disease, sarcoidosis, melkerson rosenthal syndrome, and allergic contact dermatitis. Next we look at the clinical features of chylitis granulomatosa. There is usually a sudden swelling of upper lip. The first episode goes away within hours or days. Swelling of the lower lip and one or both cheeks may follow in orofacial granulomatosis. The swelling may be soft, firm, or nodular. Recurrent attacks of granulomatous chylitis may occur within days or even years after the first episode. At each episode, the swelling may become larger, more persistent, and eventually become permanent. At this time the lips may crack, bleed, and heal, leaving a reddish-brown color with scaling. This can be painful. Eventually, the lip takes on the consistency of hard rubber. Other symptoms include fever, headache, and visual disturbances. There may be mild enlargement of regional lymph node in 50% of cases. Fissured or plicated tongue in 20-40% to of cases. And facial palsy in 30% of cases. These are some pictures showing the swollen lips in chylitis granulomatosa. For investigation, it is often a clinical diagnosis. But investigation can be done, including a skin biopsy of affected tissue. Where there is presence of granulomas, a mixed inflammatory cell infiltration, in the dermis, which is the deeper layer of the skin. For treatment, if related to allergy, avoid causative substances long term. If there is an underlying disease, systemic treatment needed. To reduce severity of the chylitis, we can give topical corticosteroids. Long term anti inflammatory antibiotics, such as a 6 to 12 months course of tetracycline, erythromycin, or penicillin. Intralesional corticosteroids injected into the lips to reduce swelling. These injections need to be repeated every few months. Other options are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents. Mast cell stabilizers such as catodafin, clofazamine, sulfasalazine, or lastly, surgical reduction. That's all for this video. Thank you.